Hi, I'm Brian Woolley, and most people know me as Chef Brian, and that is who I am. My story is very unique, actually. It started many years ago because I'm a well-seasoned person, but at about age 30, I decided I was at a crossroad in life, and I had to choose either basically to end life or to choose who I was at the time because the madness inside of your head completely consumes you. So eventually I decided to experiment on my feelings, my emotions, and to move forward to see if that really truly was who I was. And when that happened and it was all said and done, I felt like a whole new different person. I didn't feel like a devil. I didn't feel like a sinner. I didn't feel like I was going to hell. It was very interesting because the emotions of what I had been taught, I would feel or experience, didn't happen. It was me. It was just me that I finally learned how to behave and how to react on my own feelings. I was filled with a lot of anger at that moment because I realized I would never be able to know how to love if I followed the teachings of the religion that I was in at the time. I was raised Mormon, I went on a mission, did all that I should have done, and it was very interesting after the whole experience of my first encounter with another man, I felt just like me. There was no difference, I hadn't changed, I was me. And I realized that there's a lot to love than just loving. And I was very angry at that moment because if I had followed the path I was on, one of two things would have happened. I either would have ended my life or I never would have been able to love. I wouldn't have been able to experience or to give my heart wholeheartedly to that person that I was with. That was a huge lesson in my life and it's something that I cherish to this day that I know how to love and to give somebody all of my heart and soul. And that's a shame that many of us today don't understand that or realize how to do that. So I encourage everybody, be yourself. Love who you are and learn how to love in return. You know, it's really an honor to be one of the five husbands because I always believe when you're on a platform that people are looking at, it is the chance to do good. Good comes in many different forms. But if one person by the platform that I'm representing right now has a good idea or saves one person's life, everything is worth it. Because if one person can hear my story and say, hey, I know what he's talking about. I feel that. I'm going to be okay. That to me is worth everything in the world. And by being with five husbands and vodka on there, if that saves one person's life, everything has been worth it.